Hey, it's your boy, Dr. Rich again. Uh, just here talking about um, people. Now, yep, same coat, same glasses, next morning. But this is my morning ritual. Drop my kid off, come to Starbucks and have some coffee, go home, start my day. But um, there's a lot of people out here talking about how we have it so bad as blacks. You know, oh, this is so bad. Oh, Trump is in office. Oh, he's going to ship it. Look, look, stop. Um, you know, I don't I don't think anyone under the age of, I'll say about 60, can give us any, get, can, can complain about anything about how bad blacks are being treated in the United States of America. Now, I'm just not telling you this because of, you know, because I'm Preston Rich. I'm telling you this because it's fact. If you didn't have to go to the back of the restaurant to go in the restaurant, if you didn't have to drink out of separate water fountains, go in separate bathrooms, if you were denied access for something, if you weren't denied access to an, a venue because of your color or you had to go in the colored entrance in the back, if you didn't have to sit in the back of the bus, if you didn't have to take a test before you could cast a vote, then, you know, we really don't we really don't need to talk about how bad we have it now. Oh, it's bad. And a lot of people talk to me about institutional racism. I'm going to tell you about that. As long as, if nobody ever told you, as long as you stay a different color than the majority, you're going to have a different profile. You're going to have a different experience. That's just how it is. I'm not saying this isn't a step and fetch it. Oh, woe is me deal. This is facts. Okay, these are facts. I'm not telling you to kowtow and be like, oh, yes or no. I'm not telling you that. What I'm telling you is get yours. I'm telling you that people, our people have done way more for society when they were slaves and when they were walking around without any civil rights than we are now. Well, you, you know, it, I, it, this kills me. This, this, this hurts me. Hey, I'm a kid from Norfolk, Virginia, man. We didn't have much money. We didn't have, hell, we didn't have much of anything, but we had love. We had family. We, we understood who we were. And, you know, I was in the military. I got out of the military. I went to work for a company, made a whole lot of money, but decided, you know, I need to do something else just for me. I need to do something else for me so that I can do something for someone else. You know, in the Christian, in the Christian world, in the Christian Bible, in the Christian world, they have a Bible, have a book called the Bible. And they have some commandments in there. And the second commandment is love your neighbor as you love yourself. And a lot of that is not going on. There's a lot of people out there that don't love us. Hey, newsflash, some white people don't like you because you're black. That's the only reason. Some whites do not like you. Just want to let you know that some, 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 not all. Okay? But here's the key. If you walk around disheveled, unkempt, with your pants hanging down, cussing and hollering, talking loud on the telephone, walking through acting stupid, you're not respecting yourself. So how in the hell can you ask someone else to respect you? If you're walking around and you don't have a job because you don't want a job and you are looking for someone else to do something for you because of that fact? No. Now, let me, let me, let me tell you, this isn't people, I'm not talking, I'm not addressing people who have had jobs and been laid off and can't find jobs. No, I'm talking about the 20, 30 somethings who have decided that it's easier to live off the government than to go get a job. The people who decide that they want to get food stamps and before in, in TANF or whatever they call it, instead of getting a job, I'm talking about able-bodied men grown tail men who decide I don't want to get a job because I heard one idiot tell me I don't want to get a job because I don't want to pay child support. Wow. But you expect the government to take care of you. That's not the way, man. And you know, if, if, if you were looking at a situation where every time you built something, somebody came around and tore it down, or every time you work for something, somebody came in and took half of your money because they don't have it. 
you would be pissed off too. The only thing some people are trying to say is just do your fair share. Do your fair share. And I've heard it all because nobody can tell me anything about it. I've been black all my life. Matter of fact, I grew up in Virginia. Hmm. You don't believe me how you don't. If you don't believe how racist Virginia was, watch Mr. and Mrs. Loving. Yeah. So it's been around a long time, ever since 1607, Jamestown, Virginia. So <laughs> please don't talk to me about how disadvantaged someone someone is. You know, I, I get it. I get it. A disadvantage is one day one thing, but when you stop trying, you stop learning. You refuse to respect yourself, then don't ask for anybody else to teach you. Don't ask for anyone else to try for you. Don't ask for anyone else to respect you. It's your boy, Dr. Rich. www.drprestonrich.com or docrich1 on the gram and Twitter. I'll holler. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.